Havanese Pros and Cons Havanese are a popular dog breed among city dwellers. Their compact size and relatively low exercise requirements make them an ideal companion dog for pet lovers who live in apartments. The Havanese has seen their stock rise over the past 60 years since the Cuban Revolution. Lap dogs of Cuban aristocrats for centuries, well-to-do Cuban refugees brought their companion dogs to the USA in the 1950s and 1960s. As a result, the Havanese enjoyed a surge in numbers and popularity in the United States. The American Kennel Club lists the Havanese as the 24th most popular breed in the country. In this video, we'll take a look at the pros and cons of the Havanese breed. Pros Affectionate Havanese have a reputation for being extremely friendly and welcoming dogs. The breed can become attached to their dog owners. Described as a lap dog for the aristocrats and high society in Cuba over the past few centuries, these dogs are accustomed to showing affection and love to their pet parents. They're a sociable breed that usually do well when it comes to meeting new people and new dogs. Having said that, you'll need to socialize your Havanese dog from a young age to make sure they become accustomed to different people and situations. You don't want your Havanese to become overly shy. Apartment Size City Dogs If you're looking for a dog that will do well in an apartment in the city, you may want to consider the Havanese breed. These dogs are relatively small in size, they can grow to a height ranging between 8.5 inches and 11.5 inches, while they don't weigh more than 7 to 13 pounds. The American Kennel Club described these fluffy dogs as popular amongst American city dwellers. The organization go on to add that the Havanese are an ideal city dog as long as they receive plenty of attention and love. Companions When you're looking at the characteristics of the Havanese breed, the standout trait is their companionship. These dogs have acted as vivacious and sociable companions for centuries. The chirpy canines likes to be in the company of their pet parents, leading to them sometimes being described as Velcro dogs. Ranked 24th out of 191 dog breeds in the AKC popularity stakes, the Havanese were native lapdog of Cuba's aristocrats and wealthy planters. In modern culture, they made their way to the USA in their droves during the Cuban Revolution in 1959. Their numbers have exploded and they're a popular companion dog. Hypoallergenic, non-shedding. The Havanese are considered a hypoallergenic dog breed. Although the American Kennel Club don't include the Havanese breed in their list of 19 hypoallergenic dogs, the Kennel Club in the UK do suggest these Cuban canines for would-be pet owners looking for a non-shedding dog. A hypoallergenic dog is one that is less likely to trigger an allergic reaction than some other breeds. As the Havanese don't shed a lot, if at all, the Havanese are described as hypoallergenic. However, it's worth remembering that there's no such thing as a 100% hypoallergenic dog. So if you suffer with dog allergies, there's no guarantee a Havanese won't trigger said allergies. Easy to train. Havanese have a reputation for being relatively easy dogs to train. Generally, it's a good idea to start training your Havanese puppy at a young age, whether it's puppy manner classes, socialization sessions, or one-on-one -on -one training with a dog trainer. They're usually highly intelligent and eager to please their pet parents. However, the American Kennel Club stress that these dogs are easy to train as long as positive training methods are used. Described as a sensitive breed, the AKC don't recommend harsh reactions to these dogs. The organization add that gentle, patient training will lead to a great companion dog. Sturdy Toy Dogs Although the Havanese are a toy breed, they're a relatively sturdy dog in comparison to other breeds of a similar size. This could be an important consideration if you're thinking about introducing a Havanese to a home with children. Of course, they'll still need to be educated about how to handle these Cuban dogs with care, they should do better than some other more delicate breeds such as the Maltese. Don't need a lot of exercise. Havanese don't have big exercise requirements. As a result, the breed make great pets for the older generation who may have limited mobility. These dogs will do fine with short walks. Alternatively, they'll be happy to stretch their legs for a short spell in the garden or yard. If you live in an apartment, some playtime with your dog can tire them out. Cons. Potty training. Although Havanese are usually easy to train, their Achilles heel appears to be potty training. Dog owners will need to have a lot of patience as they house break their Havanese pup. Due to their small size, Havanese don't always know that they need to go outside. You may want to consider a litter box and cat litter to encourage your Havanese to use this designated area to go potty inside the home before you slowly transition outside. Grooming. So by this stage, you'll know that Havanese are hypoallergenic dogs that don't shed a lot. This is undoubtedly a perk of the breed. The flip side is the Havanese have a lot of grooming requirements. Most Havanese owners will brush their dogs on a daily basis to prevent their silky coats from becoming matted and tangled. 
Their long hair can drag along the ground collecting dirt and debris. The American Kennel Club recommend bathing your Havanis at least once a month. Costly. Tying into our previous point, Havanis can be quite costly to upkeep. This can depend on how much time you can dedicate to their grooming regime. You may prefer to take this Cuban canine to a professional groomer to ensure their coat remains in tip-top shape. Separation Anxiety Issues Havanese are known to suffer from some separation anxiety problems. No dog is born with separation anxiety, but some pups do end up suffering from varying degrees of separation anxiety. As companion dogs, Havanese are accustomed to being around people. They're probably not the right breed for you if you plan to leave your Havanese at home for more than 3 or 4 hours every day. Barking Havanese are sometimes stereotyped as dogs that bark a lot. If you do research on the breed online, you'll almost certainly encounter this breed trait. However, this could be interpreted as Havanese being great watch dogs that will alert their pet owners to any movement outside the home. If you like the idea of a watchdog, you may not be bothered by your dog announcing the arrival of strangers. Of course, not all Havanese bark a lot and they can also be trained not to do it. Stubborn These smart little dogs have also got a reputation for being stubborn, particularly when it comes to potty training. They're usually described as mildly stubborn. As a result, you will need to employ a gentle and patient approach to training your Havanese out of unwanted behaviors. Thank you for watching.